peeps welcome back to my channel so today is gonna be like a day in my life slash a productive day also thank you so much for 182 subscribers my last video 160 i want to say and just this morning i hit 182 subscribers and oh my god once i get 200 subscribers i'm gonna lose my mind if i hit 200 i'm debating if i should do a live because i never do lives and like you guys can ask me questions um just chat with me and yeah but let me know first if you're even gonna watch it because i don't want to go on if no one's gonna watch it it's currently 9:42. And I'm gonna go, um, also I'm gonna show you guys my SAT. I'm going to do some productivity, kinda. So I decided to do the reading test, and it is for 65 minutes and 32 questions. And then I'll probably go on to doing the spelling one, and so on and so forth. So yeah. So I'm just gonna time it for one hour, um, and yeah, I'll get back to you guys after that. I finally finished. Hey guys, so we are back to the same location. Also, I got this really, really, really cute um, little poster. Not poster, it's like a little hanging thing. And it says, thankful, grateful, and blessed. Which explains what I am. Today has been a really, really long day for me. I don't want to bring you guys along with me. Because after I finished my SAT, I did one reading passage and one spelling passage. And that might not even be a lot, but I did like a test on those two. And then after that, then I got ready. Um, and then we headed out to Ala Moana, which is like a shopping center in Oahu. And we went there because there's like a new kind of Singaporean restaurant out there. My mom l loves Singapore food, so we went there. And um, I couldn't eat anything because I'm a vegetarian and I've been it for three and a half months so i just ate like shoyu ramen at a different place also we had to drop my sister off at volleyball so she could practice her skills because she's an athlete so that was fun now i'm finally at home and i decided to do a part two in that advice for small youtubers because it seemed to help a lot of you all and I love helping you all because um, I wouldn't be growing without all of your support which I really really appreciate and I'm not just saying that as I always say in my other videos uh, this video is probably going to go up late I don't really have a specific time for all of you to watch my videos which is really bad because it doesn't match up with the YouTube algorithm but hopefully I can finally figure out a time to post it's just I've been really uh, late on like video videoing like today is literally the day i'm supposed to be posting so yeah okay but last video i forgot to shout out the two people so i'm gonna shout out four people in all so the four shout outs will be all here so these are the first two and the next two are right here and i picked these four people not only because they are they commented really nice things but their content is really good and if you want a shout out all you have to do is just comment things i need to improve or nice things about my channel hopefully you don't get offended if you weren't picked you just try it in my next video hey guys so i am really really sorry that i haven't been posting on my regular times or like days today is actually tuesday the day i'm supposed to be posting but i don't even know if this is going to go up at on wednesday who as i said in my other video it's always good to stick with your days and times if you figured out one i don't have a time but i have a day and i should be sticking with it because this probably will not be shown across too many viewers because i am not matching up with their algorithm which is very bad okay anywho let's get on with the video okay so my tip one would probably be your thumbnail do not false advertise and what i mean by this is if you're doing a natural beauty look and you're using products from a drugstore and you're putting your thumbnail some ulta and sephora brands like that does not match up that is false advertising and your viewers and your engagement will not line up not a lot of people would want to watch it because they click on it and they figure out that you're using drugstore makeup and not ulta and sephora they're gonna immediately click out 
My number two tip would probably be to create an intro for your channel, but I definitely recommend you to have one because that also catches your, your viewers' attention and it makes them remember who you are because they might like the sound you're using or they might like the font you're using or maybe just the way your intro is. Okay, my third tip would probably be the description for your video. Please add your social media. This just gives your viewers of a perspective of what you do off camera. You do not want your viewers to think you don't have a life and you're always just filming. Also, I add facts about myself, maybe where I'm from, what my age is, or my ethnicity. It definitely helps your viewers who don't know anything about you a little insight on your life. Tag the artists of your music. Do not use other people's music if you're not going to tag them. My fourth tip is please do not leave your subscribers hanging. If you get comments from them and you do not have any time or you're free all day and you're seeing comments on your posts, please, please, please answer them. Please engage with your subscribers. If you don't engage with them, they'll just have a perspective on you and probably unsubscribe because you aren't friendly or that's what, at least that's what they perceive is that you're unfriendly. For me, I love seeing your, all of your guys' comments. It just really warms up my heart. So I try to respond as much as I can. My sixth tip is your editing app. Please stick to one that you know how to use. I know a lot of YouTubers use Final Cut Pro. I personally am not using that. I'm using iMovie. It's working perfectly fine for me. Please do not invest in an app that you don't understand and you just want to get it for either the aesthetic or because other people are using it. I suggest you use whatever you're using. You stick with that, you abide with that. Okay. So my seventh tip is your background. Please film where it's not too busy. Like for me, I usually film in front of my tapestry, my curtains because it's really not that busy. Okay, eight is click on your subscription in the app on YouTube and please watch their videos one by one, comment, engage with them. So sends a little positive message to them that they're doing a good job with their content and their video because you actually like it. My ninth tip is to come up with the catchphrase, but I recently came up with smiley peeps because I want my content to stay positive. I want you guys to write positivity-ness and I just want everything to be positive, so I'm calling you the smiley peeps. This kind of labels what your subscribers are and they actually feel more welcomed um uh, into watching your video because they're like oh my god like i'm a part of like a group ish my final tip for all of you is to collab with people don't think that you are the best and that people are just trying to steal your subscribe count i feel like if you collab it also opens up your exposure to other people viewing your channel and yeah but bye